push is uh, quite hard to pull off if you have two players that get those two frags just straight away you can pull it off but then you still have to fight against three CTs they are retaking so um, let's see if Virtus Pro will go for that or if they will try to set it up differently they seemingly go for B at first but they could still head into middle which they are doing right now they dropped the bomb behind though and that's kind of interesting to see it seems like a slow pissed around by Virtus Pro right now yeah, it seems that they're stacking up towards B, but at the same time having uh, Pasha, I believe, in mid. means that they're trying to see if anybody, like, if they can force some rotations, and it doesn't seem like they really can. Exist opens up here, and get right in behind the whole thing. Does get taken down by Bialy um, in the end, but Exist still alive. Not for long, though. Goes down by the hands of Bialy. Tass and Bialy now trying to take the bomb site, and Bialy spotted out by Alu. So this is going to be a very important fight. Whoever wins this will most likely win the round, and it will be Bialy in the end, but Freiburg definitely still in the game. <laughs> and as I say that, Taz ends him immediately. So, piss around in favor of the Poles, and uh, yeah, so far looking good. Yeah, Bialy with the triple kill. As I said, if you have a player that can dispose of the CTs as quick as he did, then he can make something happen. And also, he took care of the backstabber, so great play by him to win the pistol round for Willis Pro, who are once again headed towards the B bomb site. Um, with his uh, Navi having two players over there with Get Right rotating with the scout, they will push in there recklessly, getting rid of the first two CTs, no problem for them at all. NAP on the rotation, they all will stack up in Kitchen, which is going to be smoked off heavily by the terrorists, they don't have any vision at all. And Freiburg with the Deagle backs off, tries to find another opening, maybe get a pick off from um, connected towards B short doesn't happen at first now he has get right to work with but it's going to be a 2 to 0 that's for sure yeah so Neo seeing if he can actually find anything but right now it's just him being found by get right and uh, also a bit of action going down towards the T spawn Bialy seeing if he can find anybody but NIP are just really doing a great job at hiding and get right must hear him I don't know why he tries for the jump because it could end up getting him killed but he yeah, does he live uh, lives uh, barely there <laughs> get right saving the scout and, and this could be good uh, a scout can do tons of damage especially on a map like Rima Mirage where it is so open um, it looks like he is gonna go for the uh, early a peak here on slope but he could catch a head it is a very likely spot to peek with the head but Unfortunately, does not get the timing right. Yeah, Vitus Pro now setting up that A execution. They get the first frag as well, courtesy of Neo. He has pushed through connector, but he needs to watch out. He could give up an easy frag. He sees why Fiverr goes down. Bialy opening up for the double kill. He is on fire. Get right now tagging him. With a jumping scout, going for another one as Alu blows Bialy to smithereens. It's a 2v2. Vitus Pro letting this round get really close despite the weaponry advantage they had at the start of the round now the ct is with a backstabber so to speak and yeah, is no trying kit. to set it up no yeah kit. no so kids so work quick here yeah it's probably not going to happen anymore neo and snacks have the guns if they can delay to push a little further now as i speak get right gets the first and alu with the backstab on to neo who was fully focused on get right now the bomb is ticking not fast enough get right should get this defuse going and it will be two to one NIP getting the upset on the board thanks to the save that they went before. Yeah, get right getting that one kill with the scout. I feel like he could have definitely had more, but uh, I think he did get a couple of hits in that didn't result in kills as well. Yeah. Actually, only one assist, so it can have been many, but um, a very, very good round by NIP, and they really need to start building rounds on the CT side. Um, you need a good lead going into the T side. It, it can be quite hard, and it can be one of those maps where just all spirals out of, the, out of control, and no one can actually get any entries on any bomb sites as T, so... Yeah. You know, anything can happen on this map, that's a definite. Now I'm really curious to see Gadrat and Exist perform with the P90 up against the AKs. British Pro is playing it really patiently, but Gadrat trades Exist to Taz, so it's a 4v4 still. 
Three rifles in the hands of the CTs alongside quite a few nades still, but no smoke left except for the one in Alu's hands. Willis Pro is getting ready for the A execution. They have Pasha pushing through to window room by Freiburg. Will dispose of snacks in connect and Neo trying to find the kill on the lower balcony, but he doesn't. Freiburg steps out and gets himself the second kill. Bialy now in some trouble. He's flashed. He's pushed back and dead right. Will holds him down with the 50 bullet. P90. He picks up the triple kill with the SMG. And that was really important for him as NIP are now in control of this matchup. Interesting how we talked about the scout being very vital and talked about the P90 being like, how is this going to match up against the AKs? And yet, Get Right gets one kill with the scout and three with the P90. But <laughs> yeah. phenomenally uh, well played by the. Uh, well, Mr. Counter Strike, he is no forest. Missing a bit of a spray there, but Get Right. Does not make any mistakes, takes down two with that P90, and now Piali seeing if you can find anything together with his friend Taz. Taz will find a headshot onto Alu, but the jump not quite uh, doing the trick and gets shot down in the back backstabber Freiburg. Um, but 3-2 to two in favor of NIP and a bit of a quick round there. Now the second uh, buy round, full buy round at least. And also only one kill for the terrorists in the previous round. So the money is looking really well for NIP. Vitus Pro still with the five AKs trying to get back on track and draw this game once again. And this is already an exchange. But get right with the P90. Getting those two frags early on in the round. Putting another stick. But he breaks the legs of Vitus Pro. Now kind of getting that... Yeah, well, he just seals off the apartments. I was about to say he gets control of that, but he will actually push forward while Exist closes out two in top of middle. Everything seems really well for NIP. Bialy is the last man standing. He gets one back, but now they know where he is, and it will line up. Oh, he gets a first, almost gets a second as well. Forrest with the AWP standing up for his squad for the Swedes and putting a stop to Virtus Pro or putting a stop to Bialy as at the moment looking at the scoreboard you can't really speak of Virtus Pro it is more like Bialy almost alone on the terrorist side get right 11 to 1 after 6 rounds 7th yeah. not quite played out yet so we're not gonna count that one but it seems like Virtus Pro has a standard setup right now where they're actually trying to have Bialy come up slope, and that is a very unfortunate timing from Forrest, just leaving the underpass area at just the wrong time. Get right, gonna be caught here, and that's a very big opening from Snacks. Snacks only down 50 HP as well, but uh, a good a good opening for Snacks, and I actually thought Pasha had taken some damage, that's why I kind of stopped myself there, but he didn't, so everything looking decent for the T's, and it does look like it could be a fruitful round here. Freiburg yeah, they just been lacked the nades. A. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but they, yeah, they lacked the nades to get a really good execution going. So, um, well, on the other side, Freiburg is really close. So if they can get rid of Forest or push Forest down a little bit with a few flash grenades, they could actually get a few opening kills on A and Phantom Bomb. But Forest will not allow to do that. Neo though with the P90, but he's quickly traded as well. Taz is alone with the Deagle holding onto that gun. Gets the hatchet onto Freiburg. Good job by him. Alu is on the rotation, however, and he will not miss that shot. Trying to get his hands on the other AWP, what um, will not happen, but Forrest has enough money to buy that up again. No problem for NIP. Cementing their position on top of Virtus with a 5 to 2 lead. Another rifle round coming up, so what is going to be the call? Yeah, it looks like the call is at least going to be towards the B-bomb side, and that's where they've had the most success. Snacks getting that entry uh, early on last round, and also winning the pistol round on that bomb site. So it is yep. uh, definitely their go-to site right now, at least it should be, but Exist with a decent grenade actually doesn't get any damage off of the T's, but this position that Exist plays right now is so, so powerful. You can just jump and you can get so much information. Talking about information, look at Get Right. He's done the lurk all the way through the T spawn, and this could be absolutely huge. The CT is already stacking towards the B bomb side, and Get Right's gonna catch the bomber here. Neo! What a shot! I totally was caught by surprise there. He turned at just the wrong time, and Neo turned just at the right time as well, so timing's paying off for Virtus Pro now. Neo stuck with the bomb top mid, though, and F Pasha. Big roll here, takes down Forrest, 
does his part. Now it's all to Freiburg to hold these A-bomb site. The bomb once again is seeing a bit of action and it does go down. Freiburg playing a very aggressive play here. So does Pasha and Pasha is doing it just a bit better right now. So Taz flanking once again and Freiburg is not gonna go down yet. Does now though and exist. Taken out by Bialy so all in all a very back and forth round and Freiburg actually playing really really well so far. He's got his aim uh, lock on. Um, and yeah, Virtus Pro. I don't really know what the the point was there. Um, got caught out just in in the middle of middle. Yeah, and the frag that Gatwright didn't get could have um, won NAP the round, but Neil was just outstanding in that situation. Virtus Pro with a round in the back trying to make the CTs safe and that is the point in time where NAP could get into that downward spiral of having to save then not getting another round keeping the terrorists um, or letting the terrorists get the economy so now we see them providing up another A execution with Bialy and Taz opening up over there get right on the other side on the backstab already Pasha however covers him really nice play by Pasha now Snacks tries to find the kill on CT spawn it's Forrest and Alu with the AWPs, they are one in connect and one in CT spawn. They could set up a crossfire, but Alu is under pressure by... Um, no, actually it is Forrest under pressure by Pasha. He needs to watch out. He doesn't have him on the radar right now as Wittes Pro is just holding back. Alu will find himself Bialy, but Pasha with the frag onto Forrest. Now Snacks knows where the last CT is coming from. He tries to take the attention away from his teammates and he will get the spray down as well. Snacks with a good spray and Pasha with the backstab or actually the backstab on the backstabber and then the backstab on the AWP player. Great play by Pasha. So many bank stabs, it's insane. But um, it, Mirage is a map that you can definitely exploit the fact that, uh, well, the fact that sometimes people tend to forget about areas and leave them totally open for exploitation. And they've been doing this really well, both teams. But get right, actually being caught out uh, last time, trying to flank all the way around, is very weird, but very well played by Virus Pro actually setting up uh, with Pasha there but we see another push here that's Freiburg and once again Virus Pro have just read this absolutely brilliantly and Bialy does not get the frag but he gets so much information and uh, get right taken down by Taz now and Neo also does take down Alu so only they three are guys successful. left yeah they are successful on every front right now NAP with no armor either, so easy frags for Virtus Pro. They should go through without actually losing a single player. Um, drawing the game at five each. NAP should be able to to buy up again, but will they have the money for an AWP? It does look like it. Uh, Alu will have money for an AWP, but. I'm not quite sure what he can do with this. They haven't really been playing a very heavy mid game so far in this uh, CT side. Um, yeah. It seems like the AWP is more playing towards the A bomb side and then they're trying to funnel them into mid. Virtus Pro will fairly easily take control of mid and they actually use it really well but I think the point NIP is trying to make with this play is that they want to lock them down into mid but not let yeah. them use it for anything and it's just not really working he out so is far. opening up as well in middle Alu taking the first frag but Taz is already down in middle punishing Alu for the lack of defensive uh, play you know he was not on the back foot yet just Taz getting the frag in the back of the all player for NIP now 4v4 NIP trying to close out the B bombs with two players rotating over there it is the right call to make right now the C4 is over at B tunnels and Pasha is on the rotation as well trying to get some more manpower over B to clinch that bomb site they have to battle it out with Exist though he's the in-game leader for the Swedes and he smoked off B apartments now he's backing off he's really close by he's though he's got a it flash yeah, he needs to flash at the exact right moment to get those frags. But Virtus Pro seems like they could turn around just in time. Now, good frag by Bialy opening up the B bomb site. He needs to close out Forrest to actually get control of that as he could prevent the plan from happening. Taz has no problem against his uh, yeah former um, CS 1.6 uh, kind of rival co-player. And now it's a 4v2. The CTs need to save. They are on the back foot already. 
Yeah, so um, good round by Virtus Pro, and it just shows how the Virtus Pro, um, the, the kind of whoops, the kind of steam train that we talk about all the time. Virtus Pro with the uh, relentless aggression here, pushing up mid like that is not seen by many uh, teams, and that was kind of the reason why it actually killed Alu Neo now with a great flash. I don't know why he did not see Freiburg there, but Taz, trying to see if he can. Uh, Pick up get right here on his way out of this round, but not quite as get right is um, pretty much the hide and seek master. It seems he's uh, been not only doing a very good job at hiding, he's always been seeking this game. It seems, and it's just been paying off so so well. Yeah, but Virtus Pro is in control right now. Forest with the UMP. And get right needs to come up with some serious uh, hide and seeking if he wants to turn around for NIP right now. On the other side, we have Alu closing out the B bombset with the AWP, so um, the Swedes shouldn't have to worry about that department, especially as Virtus Pro is lining up on A with. Three players coming from A main, one from apartments, and Taz getting ready to push in. Get right though, seeks him out and gets the actual done. Neo missing that crucial frag, but Bialy is there to help his help his teammate out. Fire against next with the trades. 3v3 as the terrorists stall on the push a little bit. They are not quite yet sure if there are any more CTs around, and that gives the Swedes a lot of time to rotate Alu into CT spawn. No nades left for the terrorists, so they need to find those kills without any smokes as they are about to set to fade away. Snacks tries to get himself into a good position and he's he realizes that there is not enough time to get into the very back of the bomb set, so he's cut off from his teammates. If he doesn't get a frag, it is going to go very, very quickly in favor of NLP. They managed to reduce the terrorist to only one player. It is Taz, and he will go for the spray, but not uh, not hitting it. Actually, the CT is defusing him, and they will kill him as well. And with the HE grenade redirected, heads up play to take Taz out on top of that. So 6-6, six six, NIP are right back at it. The funny thing about that round was that Snacks actually planted in a very uncommon spot. At least an uncommon spot when you don't have control of the bomb site. He planted on the kind of opposite side of Hotspot. Hotspot being the default plant spot. And that meant that it's very easy to actually uh, lock that area down if you're playing from slope. But uh, Alu with a very, very good shot on Pasha, it's the AWP duo going out and Alu is winning it once again. So we've got a bit of a lurk here from Snacks up into the smoke. Get right actually putting a bit of spray through, he knows Snacks has these tendencies to lurk into the smokes and uh, Get right is gonna pick a fight versus Bialy, but he is trying to see if he can make it just a bit uh, more advantageous for himself. Alu in a very good position, misses the shot unfortunately. And um, a lot of information gained, but would have yep. been better with a frag. Forrest walking around in no man's land and gets caught. So Alu now watching into the CT spawn, takes down Neo as well, and everything's just escalating so quickly here. Freiburg gets taken down. Alu in a position possibly to end this round, but Bialy goes down in the end, tries to elongate uh, the round as much as possible, and he did do that but um, didn't get much more from it uh, just a single kill have you seen Forrester's kills he's got 3 and 11 he's making a lot of mistakes here and uh, I think that is why the scoreline is as close as it is yeah but this pro almost achieved what they wanted to already and 3 to 11 is certainly not the scoreline that Forrest is used to be sitting at maybe he's going to make up for that on the terrorist side with this pro are opening up the round with some middle control at least they are setting up for the middle control play they have two players on top of that and neo in the end the pass the cts however uh, need to hold on to this round if they lose it they would be yeah they would be able to buy up but they would risk their economy for the last round of this half which is going to be in only in the upcoming round already so this has been a very quick half as well Virtus Pro didn't waste too much time on their executions. Now they only have three rifles, the Tech 9 and the Deagle for Taz and Pasha. And they just use them to hold on to uh, middle for now. And they will try to make their way down there. So now, a lot of mid control uh, gained here from the T's, but they can't really use it for much. No one's peeking them, and because they've used yeah. so much time, they have been. 
uh, well, they have chosen to stack the bomb sites, and that is a very good decision. Exist, and uh, I think it's also Alu and Forest all locking out the bomb site. Forest takes out one, Exist takes out one, but all gets taken out. And this is just a round that's turned completely on his heels here. 3v2, get right and Fryer coming in. They have a defuse kit, but no nades. So Neo has to hit his shot to close him down. Freiburg just runs into the crosshair. Quick reaction by him. Gadra comes back, but Bialy is there to win the round for Virtus Pro. Triple kill for Neo and double kill for Bialy. And you have to take into consideration that Pasha and Taz only had pistols opening up in this round. Virtus Pro should be really happy about this, especially as they won, in my opinion, already two more rounds than they are supposed to have on the terrorist side. What is your take? on that yeah definitely I mean Mirage is a bit of uh, one of the heavier CT uh, biased maps and if you get a scoreline that's as close as this 7-7 I mean it doesn't get <laughs> closer um, <laughs> you're actually pretty much set already um, at least if you are this close to the around uh, the halftime and um, Botus Pro I mean still looking to pick up this final one Forest going with just a CZ and I mean still on four kills I don't know what's going on with him it it, it seems uh, seems that he's not really got his head with him today maybe he's in the leader now right yeah. who knows <laughs> next takes out the real Indian leader exists get right answers back right away so at least the trades are going the way of NAP right now trying to hold on to this one as it is going to be crucial if they make it 8 to 7, they can stand a chance. Forrest trying to get the peak, but Bialy hands it him nicely as well as get right. 2v2, however, thanks to Freiberg, who's putting down his foot and says, Okay, we've had enough. Let's uh, keep the terrorists out of the bomb site at least. And the bomb is still on the loose. Hasha the is close to it. If yeah, Alu downs the bomb here, there's no way back into this round from Virtus Pro. Yeah, he needs to watch out. Alu is on the back step. But um, yeah, now Alu has heard actually the bomb drop, uh, the, the weapon drop by Pasha, and he will send some blood trying to seek out the terrorists while they're pushing into the yeah, bomb site. Getting the frag is Taz, and now they should get the bomb plant at least. And after that, they should be able to at least, you know, flash Alu down, delay him a little bit. He doesn't have a defuse kit, so they should be able to waste enough time for the CT to make the bomb explode, even if he clutches it. And which is not going to happen at all. Pasha with the nice headshot, 8 to 7 in favor of Virtus Pro. So they had some trouble at the start, but then they got back on track. And it's a very wise decision by Virtus Pro of actually pushing the A bomb site. They know that it's likely that if the two players left, they're going to be one at each bomb site. Now, this was not the case as Alu is an A player, and he pushed from behind, but had Pasha actually tried to go back um, into the B apps area? He would have uh, probably been killed, they would have lost that round, a very crucial round. It's very well played. I think it was a good read by Virtus Pro, knowing that they like to flank so much and being aware of that, um, you know, the flanking capabilities of the NIP players, they decided to just go full on for a bomb site instead. A good decision and uh, saved them the last round of the half. Yeah, heads up play and heads up calling as well. Has to in the calling for Virtus Pro. And he seems to have everything pinned down. Now, NIP pins down Neo in window, already capturing a lot of space to move around. The CT's on an instant rotation, but the Terra's on the way to the platform already. They have two CTs in CT spawn. One of them is Snacks, and the other one is Taz. Holding on to that is going to be crucial for the CTs to make the retake happen. As Pasha pushes him to middle, he will dispose of Exist, exist but Alu with the refrag, making it a 3v3 as Pasha. Now, the Terra's are having good control. They have the good positions but they give them away Pasha is coming in to Alu and now the CT is in control basically but they are down to low HP they are on the defuse however Snacks is still on it and he will not find it Snacks will get the defuse in the smoke as Gadright is unable to dispose of him even though he was down to 6 HP Virtus Pro win the round and NAP is just not able to hold on to the bomb side I have absolutely no idea how Snacks did not die there. There must have been just the slight corner of a box block in his face because that should have definitely been deadly, but it wasn't. And Snacks lives to tell the tale. Not only that, he actually also wins what could be the most important round of this whole map. And it is a very, very, very crucial. Snacks not done being helpful to his team, taking out the first player on the NIP side. 
and Neo, see what he can find in mid, but so far, not much. Yeah, but the pros should just take it slow, which they um, trying to do. Now they found the terrorist and they're trying to push them down, but a huge exchange by Bialy getting those two frags was really crucial for him. If he had gone down, it could have ended up really, really badly for Virtus Pro. Now it's down to get right with the Deagle. 10 HP left for him. Um, he's going to go head to head with Bialy and he already has three kills or two kills in the back making it three in the round and putting him to 19 frags in total yeah, so 10 to 7 in favor of Virtus Pro and they're also on the CT side so this does look like dire straits for NIP Bialy on 19 kills after 17 rounds that is absolutely fantastic and now the first buy round of the half and if Virtus Pro take this this could be very big but look at this Another thing that is very big is by Bialy's play here and Pasha's biceps as well. But um, Neo looking to see if he can actually find Alu there, but not quite. Well, it's a 4v2, so the CT should just. Um, well, they actually spotted the bomb, so they are venturing into middle to get Neo in position to ho get the terrorists, you know, to keep the terrorists from getting their hands on the bomb, which he's trying to do against Alu, and Neo will get the frag as well. 1v4, Exist is the only one, he's in Palace still, so far away from the bomb, 50 seconds on the clock, theoretically, he could go there and pick it up if it wasn't for the four CTs that are standing between him and the C4 that he still has to pick up. It seems like the CTs don't know where he's coming from, though. No, not quite. He's making his way into jungle, and Snax is actually in prime position to uh, get rid of him, but he's not watching his angle at the minute, but only 30 seconds left means that this round should be impossible for Axis. And it is actually uh, predicted here by Snax and also the smoke thrown by his teammate, but Axis, I think he's just going to make his way out here and try to see if he can come out of this with his gun. Yeah, or maybe not so much, as he wants to face off again, heading into middle was a kind of a suicide by biceps. 11 to 7 now, forward as pro. What would you do if you were NIP right now, trying, you know, you know that it's only 5 more rounds and the Poles have won the game. You are down 4 yourself, so you still have to save, but what to do in that save round? I mean, right now it seems like they're gonna see if they can t take control of middle. It was something that worked very well for them in the pistol round, but this is much harder than just an ordinary pistol round as they're facing off against the biggest uh, of the biggest rifles here. Snack's in a very good position to play this smoke currently. Doesn't actually get tanked through and tries to see if he can find an angle, but not quite so far. Yeah, well, they will finally manage to get rid of Snacks, even though Neo is able to trade back at them. They have gotten themselves at least one stinging blow into Virtus Pro, as Virtus Pro will, will trade that blow right back at them. 4v3 evolving, Neo handles connector as good as he can with a double kill, making it a triple in the round. Genrack is the last man, and he will not find the kill onto Neo, who picks up the quad against the saving Swedes. So the strategy didn't quite pan out for them, but they didn't have any armor, so the chances of making it in the first place were really slow. Uh, really slim. Yeah. Now, Forrest still on 6 kills after 19 rounds. Uh, we've already brought this up just a, a few times here, but it is... It does have a big effect. Forrest, one of the guys, usually stepping up, but uh, currently so far behind that it's a big issue for NIP and uh, Neo actually taking a bit of spam through that smoke. He was trying to see if he can look through the corner of it, but not quite Bialy. Filled with self-confidence. Um, and... Uh, does go down in the end by Freiburg's AK. Snacks. Yeah, the CTs are still control of connector, which they are about to lose. Get right left through the smoke, and he. Wow, that reaction by Get right onto Snacks. Taz at the same time onto Exist, but Taz is now spotted, and Get right knows where he is coming from. Neo on the other side knows where Get right is coming from, and the CTs with their communication are able to draw it back to a one man advantage. One and a half man, basically, because Neo is down to 30, and Taz received 99 damage. He goes down to Alu, finally. 
The A bomb set is cleaned up, and Freiburg is coming in from behind onto Pasha. He turns around the wrong way, however, making it a 1v2 is Pasha in CT spawn, trying to hold on to that, at least giving the CTs a chance to come back into the round in case the bomb gets planted by Alu, who still has a flash to work with and an HE grenade. Let's see if he can get this underway for his squad. It is a very crucial round. It is very crucial to win that round for NIP. Vettispo is coming in. They will try to flash him. He draws one out with an aid in his hands. He goes to work onto Neo, getting that frag as well. Now it's a 1v1. Pasha is on 73. He has so much equipment on his hands. But Alu backs off behind that smoke. Pasha is on the defuse. He sticks to it. Pasha is sticking to it and he will make it. 1v1. And Pasha comes in with the ninja defuse. Alu was sticking back. He played the patient game, but it was the wrong time to play that. Not only that, but his nade also failed. So it would have probably not killed Pasha, but it definitely would have uh, taken a bit off of his HP. And I mean, very well played round by Alu. But it's probably not at all anticipating him to still sit on the bomb. They thought he was in CT, and that's why he had the element of surprise. But Neo once again winning the mid duel. Alu! Returns on to Neo though, and Forrest also legged, so this could turn out to be a bit of a uh, back and forth round, and it already has. Yeah, they need to kick off that comeback, and they desperately need somebody to start that comeback as well. It's, I, in my opinion, it is up to one guy to change around, come up with a triple or a quad kill, and then just shout at them, you know. Fire them up, get them in the game, wake Forrest up and get them underway on this round because Vitus Pro is about to take it 14 to 7. So Halu is looking for that chance to make it at least a second frag in the A bomb side. The Vitus Pro players are just staying away for now. They know they have the man advantage, they just have to wait for the players to make their move. As Alu gets moved over to the B bomb site, he drops down and wants to find the opening frag. He's venturing deeper, jumping around, getting his scope set up, going down to 2 HP. However, as they're pushing in, they are horribly flashed. Fireback doesn't see anything. Biali with the nade onto Alu. It is up to exist. The in game leader can't do it against Biali, who is on fire today. 14 to 7. What a round. He has 24 kills. We brought this up in the other game that if you've got a kill per round, of over one or just around one you are absolutely going mental and Biali is doing just that 24 kills in 20 rounds or 21 rounds that have been played out and get right with 20 as well on the losing side but now the NIP conquest is coming in Taz takes down one forest also takes down Taz immediately after Freiburg now takes down Neo and it's Snacks who's just lurking here in Sandwich and Forrest does not see him and he takes down two Exist and Forrest both down, can he get more? He's trying to see if he can but not quite, Freiburg takes down Snacks and now is Biali and Pasha Biceps still standing, Freiburg gets taken out by that jumping shot so it's all down to get right, the clutch master, can he do this? Biali and Pasha trying to see if they can change up the positions here so they can kind of do the pincer movement and and try to see if they can force him out of position. Yeah, Gatwright has the patience. He's just waiting there. 60 seconds on the clock now. It seemed like he somehow took a small nap after all that patience. He wasn't quite prepared for the CT to push around from the lower part of Connector. So Virtus Pro with the match point and not only one, but eight against NAP. So that is a big, big thing. If you have seen him play in Katowice, you know the game was really close. This time around, Virtus Pro one year later, or more than one year later, seem to have um, the big, big edge against the Swedes, who are trying to make it happen with five AKs right now, almost no equipment, and they lose the first battle, the second as well. They were the only one to reply in a 4v2. He's left alone suddenly. Virtus Pro is just stomping the ground, and they will punch. NIP in the face. Get right is the last man backing off here into the B apartments trying to get the bomb in his hands. He's throwing his last flash into middle and he has to get really really big with the ace in a 1v4. He does the damage onto Biali. Expect somebody else to come around the corner and help Biali out but there's nobody around. Wow snaps us on the head but then uh, Neo will close it out to make it 16 to 7. Great performance by Biali and even though Get Right was feeding.